I've been getting a lot of questions about this lately, so here it is, the insulated file technique. I'm Bill Nudera and welcome to my channel dedicated to clinical endodontic education. When performing endodontic treatment on teeth with metallic restorations, obtaining a really nice solid predictable apex locator reading can be challenging and frustrating. When trying to obtain an electronic apex locator reading and your stainless steel file contacts a metallic restoration, either amalgam, a full coverage base metal, noble metal, or PFM restoration, that apex locator is going to short out and cause it to give you erratic readings. To solve this problem, we've got to address that metal-on-metal -metal contact, and we do that by using something called an insulated file technique. So here's how I do it. Basically, I just take a small piece of plastic tubing, and we cut it and trim it to about maybe two millimeters or so. And what I use are these capillary tips, these purple capillary tips sold by Alterdent. I only use them because they're available to me in my clinic. These aren't the only things you can use, but since I use them for a lot of applications of endodontic processes, like calcium hydroxide delivery or even deep suction, they're just readily available to me. So they're easy for us to reach to and use these tubes for the insulated techniques. Again, you don't have to use these, but this is what I use. Once these tubes are cut to about two millimeters or so, then a size 10 file or 15 file, whatever you prefer, can be threaded through the lumen of this tube and advanced to the shank of the file. When the file is then placed inside the canal and advanced apically, the plastic tube then prevents that contact, that metal on metal contact, and also prevents your apex locator from shorting out. This will give you a much more accurate apex locator reading in these challenging situations, and it works like a charm. Some other tips that you can use to improve your apex locator readings and accuracy is drying the pulp chamber, take all of that fluid out, and dry the coronal aspects of the root canal system. Also, in larger canals, consider using larger files. Well, I hope this has helped, and I hope you can get better apex locator readings with this information. And I also encourage you to hit that subscribe button so you can be up to date with all of my new videos. I'm Bill Nadera. Thanks for watching.